Good day and uh, welcome to uh, Godly Thoughts uh, with um, Komatasi. Today our scripture reading is coming from Matthew 1 uh, verse 16. What Matthew 1 is largely is really just the genealogy of Jesus Christ. I've heard there are people who have preached that genealogy so well by researching who exactly was what and what, they, what did they do and what was their specific uh, significance in the life of Jesus. But today we are talking about that part which says, and Mary gave birth to Jesus, who is called the Messiah. Who is called the Messiah is really the message. Who is called the Savior? You see, Messiah is a very important office. It is not just Senem. A lot of people think Jesus' Senem was Christ. It is office. The office of the Messiah. Jesus was in the office of the Messiah, is in the office of the Messiah, Savior. He saves people. That is his office. So today I want to talk about how Jesus saves. How Jesus came to save. The angel who talks to Mary says, You shall call his name Jesus, for it is he who shall save his people. Let me help you to understand that you need saving. If you wake up every day and wonder what you are doing with your life, you need saving. If every day, if every time you try something and every time it fails and you wonder why when you've done everything correct, then you need saving. If there's a clear pattern of failure in your life and it is also beginning to manifest in your life, then you need saving. If in your family people have certain miscarriages, once they get married, then you need saving. If accidents are so common in your life, you have become so used to it, no one buys a car in your family, then you need saving. If no one in your family has gone past Form 4 or has gone to university, even though sometimes resources are there, then you need saving. If you have gone to many witch doctors and still the problem persists, even though you have lost lo lots of money to those witch doctors and members of the apostolic faith, then you need saving. If every day you sleep and you get satanic attacks, then you need saving. The office was set up because it was necessary. People were in trouble, and this is proven by the ministry you see Jesus doing when he casts out devils, heals the sick, and preaches the good, good news to those who were in bondage. He says, the spirit of the Lord is upon, upon me. He has anointed me to preach the good news to people, to heal the sick, to heal the blind, open eyes of the blind, to proclaim the year of Jubilee. Jesus set up the office of the Messiah because it was specifically needed by people here on earth. A lot of people have pride. When you try to help them, they say, thank you, but I, know, I don't need your pity. I don't need your sympathy. My brother, you need a lot of it and you need saving. If your father was a, a, an alcoholic and he relied on alcohol to deal with problems and you are beginning to do it too, then you, my friend, need saving. Our pride often interferes with us looking for salvation and we think we are too good to require salvation. We need salvation as much as the next person. We need saving. Let me tell you the truth. Jesus came to seek and save the lost. And we, we are the lost. A lot of times we think we know, but there's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. If you have tried it your way and it hasn't worked, then you need to try Jesus. Some of us were too proud to look for Jesus. Some of us were too proud to ask for help. But it, has, it is after we realized you are way now in your 30s and still there is nothing meaningful you are doing with your life. When other young men have already built houses, not just for themselves, but also even for their parents. When they have bought houses and cars, not just for themselves, but also for their parents. But whatever you do, whatever you try, is not working. You are in bondage. You need to be set free. And when the Son of Man has set you free, you are free indeed. Seek Jesus. Be curious about Jesus. Start asking about Jesus. Call the number that shall, ask, uh, that shall appear on your screen after this message and ask about Jesus. 
What can you do to receive Jesus? The answers are there. You need serving. And luckily for you, Jesus is there just for you.